Immunohistochemistry, or IHC, is a laboratory technique that uses antibodies to detect and visualize the location of specific proteins within tissue sections. IHC provides valuable information about tissue structure, cellular function, and disease pathology. Before staining can commence, the wax coating needs to be removed, and slides need to be rehydrated. Start by immersing slides in xylene for 10 minutes. Transfer slides to fresh xylene for a further 10 minutes. Next, start rehydration by placing sections into a container of 100% ethanol for five minutes. Sequentially place the sections into containers of 95%, 80% and 60% ethanol for five minutes each. To complete the rehydration process, wash sections three times in distilled water for three minutes each. Antigen retrieval is not always necessary for your antibody. All protein tech antibodies validated for IHC have recommended antigen unmasking protocols, which can be found on the product datasheet. To perform antigen retrieval, transfer slides to a microwave-proof container and cover with the recommended antigen retrieval buffer. Heat the samples in the microwave on medium power for 10 minutes. You should maintain the temperature at just below boiling point without overheating. Allow slides to cool in the antigen retrieval buffer for approximately 30 minutes at room temperature. Once cooled, wash the slides three times with wash buffer for three minutes each. Quench endogenous peroxidase activity, which could cause high background staining, by incubating the samples with 3% hydrogen peroxide solution for 10 minutes. Quenching with hydrogen peroxide for HRP dab staining is not always necessary. However, this step is imperative when using frozen sections, as the endogenous enzymes are not deactivated. Wash slides three times with wash buffer for three minutes each. Then rinse slides three times with distilled water for three minutes each. Dry any remaining fluid around the tissue with absorbent paper. Use a hydrophobic pen to draw a closed circle around the tissue. This creates a hydrophobic boundary to confine reagents to the tissue. Block each section with blocking solution for 30 to 60 minutes in a humidified chamber. The optimal antibody dilution ratio should be predetermined by experimentation. Set up negative controls by omitting the primary antibody incubation step for one slide per experimental condition. Incubate sections with primary antibody diluted in wash buffer for one hour or overnight at four degrees Celsius in a humidified chamber. Following primary antibody incubation, 
Wash slides three times with wash buffer for three minutes each. Apply sufficient horseradish peroxidase labeled secondary antibody. Protein Tech recommend a polymer HRP conjugate for best results. Incubate at room temperature for 30 minutes in a humidified chamber. Wash slides three times with wash buffer for three minutes each. Prepare an appropriate volume of the DAB Chromagen solution based on the manufacturer's guidelines. Apply the substrate carefully and incubate for 5 to 10 minutes until a brown color develops. Rinse sections gently with distilled water. To stain nuclei, Add a few drops of hematoxylin and incubate for three minutes. This stains the nuclei blue and allows for better visualization of the tissue. Rinse slides gently with distilled water. Transfer slides into a solution of 1% hydrochloric acid and 99% ethanol for 10 seconds, and then rinse briefly in distilled water. To begin dehydration and prepare the tissue section for visualization, immerse slides sequentially into 60%, 80%, 95%, and 100% ethanol baths for five minutes each. Finally, immerse slides in xylene for five minutes. Repeat this step in fresh xylene for five minutes. Mount the sections with sufficient mounting media and cover with a cover slip, ensuring there are no air bubbles. Air dry in a well-ventilated area, such as a fume hood, before viewing the slides on a microscope.